Hello, Randy Rain here. And a while back, I refurbished a 1970s Tomy Karate Bot. It was destined for the trash. It was missing several pieces, but I recreated them just from pictures I found online and modeled them out and got it working again. But now I have another one. It doesn't work either, but it has all the pieces. So, let's see how well I did. Let's get it working. And this is... Randy's Robot Refurbish! Rebuild it! So essentially there were four pieces missing on the original Karate Bot. And you can see the original video down below. It was missing the battery door, but so is this one. That's the only thing all of them are missing. And I can't even find a picture of one online. And so I'm just guessing on that one. There are three other things missing on this robot. And one of them was this chest plate. So I found a picture online and I recreated this chest plate. So let's see how close I got. So here's the chest plate that I created. Had the little dials and the lines and these little dots here. But this box I went ahead and added the word Tomy in there. So that doesn't count. But let's look at everything else. Let's compare my other pieces. How well did I do? Okay, that's pretty good, actually. I'm going to call that one a win. Yay! The other thing that was missing was these ear pieces. So I had to recreate those. So let's see how close I got to those. Ah, these are way bigger. <laughs> Last, there's these little dome pieces on the back. They could only be a certain size, and it's just a dome. Surely I got those right. Nope, these are way bigger, and these are rubber. Of course it's rubber. It's basically a flip bot, and it's for landing on its back. Duh. Oh well, I did my best. I can fix that. Let's get in these things. Unfortunately, these ear pieces are glued in, and I have to get them off to get these two halves separated. I tried to get it off, but this one just broke. So I'm pretty much going to have to do the same thing to this one and fix them just like I did in the last video. Oh well. Now at least I can get it apart. Yeah, this thing's so old school it still uses slotted screws. There's four screws back here. glued down here as well. Oh yeah, they have little caps on here, glued in place, kind of like the ears are. I didn't even really pay much attention to it on this one. I can see now that they're just broken off there. Hey, look at that. Hey, success on that one. The glue actually broke and came free. If I can do it on this side. Give it a little squeeze in there. Hey, I got it. Shot across the room, but I got it. But I found it. So I have both of the caps. And now it's coming free. Yep, this gear right here is probably split. And has come free. So it can't turn that one. That's probably the only thing wrong with this. Yep, split right there. It's a tin tooth gear, so this one should work. It has a little rough spot right here that it goes to. Well, that should work. I guess I need to put a battery in here and test this motor. All right, the motor looks good. So let's put it back together. My replacement gear, it fits in right like that. Next gear is going to be the gear with the pulley. Then you have this gear that has this little piece that's only a part of a gear and it's the sound maker that clicks onto this thing. Yeah, spins pretty easily. But I could pull it right off. Yep. Let's rough it up. 
I'm going to put it back on. Okay. And then the arm structure goes in. That. There we go. Go ahead and remove the battery section for now. Now it's time to see about getting these things silver. I think I'm going to use the same silver that I used on my Saturn robot. These little rubber pieces just pop out, which is probably why they were lost on the first one I had. I bet I can remake these and replace them on my original one. I'm going to take some masking tape and a matchstick, put the tape around here, and build it up so that this will fit on there. And cut that off. Now I'm going to take some clay and mash it onto this board and then hook this down into it. Take some more clay and start building up a wall around it. Now we'll mix some silicone up. Okay, I probably should have just used a paintbrush to do this, but oh well, too late now. It's time to work on this sticker here. It's actually in decent shape. There's no tears or scratches or anything. It's just peeling up. I think I'm just going to try using the hair dryer method to get it off and just glue it back down. I'm going to try ironing this. I'm going to put the sticker here on this little chalkboard because I don't think it'll stick very well on there. Cover it with a paper towel and hit it with the iron. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with some spray 77. Okay, I see about getting it back on there now. pretty good. I'm happy with that. I guess I can go ahead and put the plate back on. I'm just going to use some CA glue. So what I have to do now is just like before, grind out this section so I can add these which will give me enough to add the ear pieces back on. Three more to do. On the switch, it works like this. I want to make sure it's really pushing down that it's going to make good connection. That feels pretty good. Time to solder it back onto the motor. 
negative is up top. And the other side is the positive. The belt on it is still pretty good, but I have a new one, so might as well use it. That piece goes there. Meanwhile, the silicone is cured. Cut this out. Well, there's my mold. So I need to drill out these ear pieces. And get it in the center as much as I can. See about putting these little cap pieces back on. Nice. Nice. the new ears for the original robot. Here's the new little caps. <laughs> Fit nicely and tight on there. Now I just got to get my rubber bumpers on here. I can take the mold and paint the inside black with some powder pigment. I do have some pretty dense foam rubber that I can pour up. Alright, let's see what happens. Clean that up. There's one. Okay, so now I am down to the battery door. I redid the battery door so now that it works better. And the battery fits in much better and it holds in place. Wait a minute. Hold everything. So while I was filming this video, Another one of these robots showed up on eBay, and it has the door. I made a mold of it. I cast it in some plastic. And I made new battery doors. Of course, it didn't come out to the right color of red, but I don't care. I have the original door. Let's look at how well I've done this time. For the original karate robot that I had, I replaced the chest piece. We'll say that's good. <coughs> Next, I replaced the ears, but I just went by a picture and they were too small. But now, they are perfect. <coughs> then there was these rubber bumpers on the back that I didn't even know were rubber. Well, now they are. <coughs> and I replaced the caps down below. 
and now I have a completely recreated karate bot. So now all three of these karate robots work and they are all refurbished. One to completely original, uh, one not so much, and one right in the middle. I don't need three karate robots, so one of them is going on eBay. And that's the one that's partially original, partially not. It has a reproduction battery door. It has a reproduction decal. The chest plate and the bumpers on the back are completely original. Everything works. New belt, new gears, new paint. So if you like this channel and you want to help, well, help me get some more robots by buying this one. You can follow the eBay link below and you'll see that I started it at 99 cents plus shipping. So, hey, go add another dollar on whatever bid is there. And that's it. That was... Wendy's Robot Refurbished! re